Hello everyone and welcome back to Farm Center 22. We're back here on Elm Creek with Grober Games. So we're still continuing the month of August here. We're gonna get the we're gonna finish getting harvesting done here today, and then after that, we're gonna start knocking out getting all our Oh, getting all our crops sown and such. Actually. Wanna go this way. Trying to figure out the best route right now to get to the new field. Our new field back here since we got some canola to harvest out of it. Let's. Yep, this one's the right way, anyways. Just cut through the path here. Kind of a little bit narrow road for us to get back here with the combine, but with the, us having the header on, this is going to be the best way for us to get back there for now. That way, you can avoid traffic and everything. But we're gonna we're gonna get started here. Um, so what I. If you didn't catch last episode, we ended up getting all our sorghum harvested finally, and my plan today is to get all the, to start getting canola sown for next year, and that's, and I wanted to get canola done today as well, so that's why we're, we're out here now getting to work, getting to work on that, and after we get this harvested, we got, we actually got quite a bit of liming to do, we're gonna get all the fields, we're gonna get all the, Fields line for, oh, that we're going to be turn putting into canola. So we actually got quite a bit of work to do today for ourselves. And we're going to end up hauling this canola straight away to our oil production plant. So that way we can get that rolling right away. I also noticed that we need to get some wool back over to the spinnery again. Because we've actually completely ran out again over there. So we got, we got quite a few tasks that I want to get done today before the month of August is over. And we got to... We got to make sure we get our production facilities back up and running and back on track here. So I think in, I'm thinking next year we're going to have to turn down Johnson, Johnson's Farmer Market's offer to like keep taking them in canola, be, or not canola, or wool, because it's starting to eat into our own business. And that that honestly is going to hurt us more more because we're not, we're not going to be making quite near as much of selling the wool straight straight out instead of just turning it into a product ourselves so i'm i'm thinking we're gonna have to turn them down tell them next year that we're gonna have to hang on to all our wool for now but right now it looks like this field's yielding pretty decently for us too which is kind of a good feeling to know i'm thinking i'm sort of thinking right now i think next month we'll probably worry about expanding it and getting rid of all these rocks and such but i'm trying to decide if i want to kind of take out those trees I kind of loop around there as well for our expansion because I'm planning to loop around those trees down there. I might even take take out that driveway a little bit there. It'll be kind of an oddly shaped field, but I think we can make this work. Oh, this corner of the field did not yield well at all. Look at that. It's just bright orange. Almost red, to be honest with you. Did we not get any fertilizer over here or... Is this just really poor ground? Because I thought overall this was a really good piece of land, so to speak. But I'm thinking about, since we got the chainsaw, we'll probably take out most of these trees right there. Or at least take out those two right there and get a little bit closer. And then we'll probably go around. We'll probably head around there a little bit. Like head down towards the, oh, the drain there and stop shortly before it, so... Maybe I'll just take out all this. I think and maybe that will be the better idea. Maybe we'll just take out all those trees and just loop around the creek bed there and leave a leave a little bit of a buffer strip so that way we can we don't have as much runoff so to speak into the creek there. But I think that's all I got for us right now. We kind of we kind of got quite a few tasks on hand that we got to take care of today. It'll probably take us it shouldn't take us too long to get this canola field all knocked out here, but We'll jump into the time lapse here, and we'll see what we can, do can get done before the day's over. So we'll see you guys in a bit.
night aligns all the shady features and all our empty worlds behind the sea they're picking up the pieces of all broken hearts but i believe in coloring the world All right, everyone, we're getting to the point where we're just going to be wrap wrapping up this episode today. We got quite a bit stuff done. We got quite a few things done this month, actually. And it's kind of it's kind of a nice feeling. I mean, we got our canola in now. We're going to be... We'll be actually, like, dealing with a good amount of canola this, this next season, which will be actually kind of nice. It'll be a different... It'll be nice to harvest a little bit of different crop and to see if we can actually make... make something worthwhile off it with, uh with our oil production plant. I'm kind of I'm kind of excited to see what how it's going to work out next year. I'm surprised we didn't go through as much seed. Like I haven't really we haven't really done too much canola in this playthrough or I in my personal playthroughs and it's kind of interesting to see that we didn't really we didn't really go through as much canola seed. I don't know much about canola to be honest with you. It's never been a crop that I've been I've been accustomed to growing, so it's kind of a it's kind of a it's weird experience for me just because, like I said, it's not something I'm normally used to grow, growing in real life, and I, I don't have any, like, real prior knowledge to it to tell this game, so. It's, like I said, it's just interesting how we only get, went through, I'm guessing, like, 500 liters of seed between all the fields. And I feel, I feel like we covered, like, a quite, a, quite a good amount of ground with it, but... We're going to wrap up today's episode here. We're, we'll take care of all this stuff tomorrow. I'm not going to worry about it tonight anymore. And we'll take care of getting the wool to to the spinnery tomorrow as well in the next month. Because it's it's not going to make that big of a difference if we get it out today. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can stay up to date to the latest series. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And most of all... Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.